Do you always audit or verify open source tools before you run them? Here's an example of why you should. If you've ever done pen testing or competed in a CTF, you're probably familiar with LinPs, the popular open source Linux privilege escalation tool. If you run a quick Google search for linpeas.sh, the name of the default script, you'll notice the top result is this domain, linpeas.sh. Clicking on it, it appears that it's hosting a raw version of the script, just in raw text format. If you perform an audit of this script or just run a quick search for curl, you'll notice that the very first result brings back this very sketchy line. It appears that it's reaching out to a logging subdomain of the linpeas.sh domain. And if we look even further, it's looking like it's trying to store into the URL some details about the computer we're running this on. So let's copy and paste this single line here and take a look at what's going on. First thing I notice here is that it's running curl with just the dash s option. This means that it's going to suppress all errors, warnings, or status of the curl. So it looks like the writer of this is trying to hide that this is running. You'll also notice that since there's no other options, this just means it's going to perform a basic get request here to this URL, and it crafts the rest of the URL parameters based on different details from our system. First, it creates a UUID, and then you'll notice it also gets some details about the machine ID, host name, user, present working directory, and some of this is actually converted to base64 to help with URL encoding. First thing we can do to analyze the script is let's actually just point it at ourselves here and then we'll see what the logging does. So let's just delete this out and we'll put in our own IP address here. So 127.0.0.1 and let's put it at 8080. Let's save this now and then let's hop over and start our own server that we can listen on. So we'll go python 3-m http.server listening on 8080. Now let's run our linp script. And of course we get no results back because we suppressed them all, but if we head back over to our server, we can actually see the result of this get and all of the URL parameters. So you'll notice we created a UUID. We can see the host name of my computer is andrew-virtualbox. We can see the username is Andrew, and we can also see all of these base64 coded details. This is why you should always verify or audit open source tools or scripts before running them, especially on a client machine. If you're curious to learn more about Linux, how you can read bash or programming, or even Linux privilege escalation, you should check out the courses in the TCM Security Academy. Some of them are even free.